800% 8 billion. No, it's not clickbait. Let me read this for you. Ripple has grown in the overseas market to supplement the volume increase. For quarter one, 2022, the on-demand XRP liquidity for cross-border payments stood at 8 billion. That is eight times more liquidity settlement than the same period year over year. But guess what? That's not the big story I want to talk to you about regarding Ripple XRP. So let's go screen and screen and explore the news. So you ask, where can you find cool articles like this? Well, as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. We're going to get into that 8,800,000,000% here real quick, but I want to show you something. The run on Tether USDT has been remarkable, and that's on the bad side. About 15% of people have completely cashed out of USDT and have cashed out into fiat. Think about that. Volatility of the fiat and people are leaving Tether to go to fiat. Interesting here. And you can see this is not small retail people pulling out. These are big, big hits. If you zoom in over a seven day period, you can see these little, little movements up and downs. And then you can see just big pullouts right there. Whales exiting USDT. We're going to find out if it's backed one to one. And remember Ripple XRP holders out there. What did the crash of Luna UST do? more buying opportunities. So keep this in mind as Tether USDT continues to feel strain. And I'm going to zoom out just to show you how big this pullback is. We'll go to the full lifetime of it. Look at that. That is the biggest pullback withdrawing of funds converting to fiat that we have ever seen in Tether. So potential buying opportunity to see if Tether's really backed one to one, which we know it isn't. So onto the positive Ripple XRP news for it. All right. So now if we go on to the Ripple news feed, right? Ripple XRP news feed, you're going to see a bunch of stories talking about whales accumulating. You're also going to be talking about Ripple lawsuit and the plans going forward. You're also hearing a lot of things about what happens when the lawsuit is over. Well, let me get you caught up to speed with that. XRP, how Ripple's IPO speculation is triggering whale activity on the chain. Essentially, this is what is going on. Brad Garlinghouse said, hey, look, once the SEC thing is over, guess what we're going to do? We're going to explore all options for IPOs for stocks. Yes, that would mean that Ripple would be traded on the stock market. Think of the impact this would have, luring in new traditional stock market investors into a crypto company's product. That is a great way to bridge that marketplace and really bring in new money to the space. So now you have to ask yourself, what kind of pain is going to be coming ahead? What kind of opportunities are going to be coming ahead? Because I think a lot of us out there are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, right? The sunrise on the horizon, but there's still some gloom out there. And I think that tether situation is going to prove to be one of those that we really have to keep our eyes on. 15% pullback. But you have whales coming in, buying and accumulating. It's a two-month high, right? So it's not the biggest thing we've seen with accumulation with XRP. But it is a near-term whale accumulation high. All right, let's get back to that stat of 800%, $8 billion. This is overseas market volume increase, all right, for Ripple. Think about that. An 800% increase in overseas usage, right? Movement of money year over year. Why is that so important? Because guess what? They are also at the WEF talking to other countries out there about how Ripple can help them out. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to check out other cool crypto content, you can click right here and if you want to check out my passion project something that i'm so proud of check out this video right here all right everyone take care and have a great day